Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about how to read and interpret uh, strain echo everything, longitudinal, circumferential, radial, strain rate, uh, bull's eyes, everything. But before uh, that, I want to uh, ask you something. I have two clip about the strain, one technique, one general concept. Please, before you start watching this one, go review both of them. Both together is about 80 minutes. I will, I am sure you will love them after you check them and watch them and then come to this one. At the end of the, this lecture, I prom promise you, 100% at the end of this, you will love to do strain in all patients and you enjoy to read them. And last one, I was surprised, I came and checked it, uh, YouTube uh, uh, software for catching my speech, and it was almost over 90% was correct. I think YouTube hired a Persian software engineer for their uh, program. Anyway, if you have a uh, problem and trouble with my some word, it's not bad idea, activate uh, capture subtitles, it can help you. Now let's do it. As you remember, uh, the concept of the ejection fraction and strain, both of them are the same, but the technique is different. In ejection fraction, we calculate the percentage of the volume change during cardiac activity from endostolic minus end systolic divided endostolic multiple hundred. It gives us ejection fraction, the per, give you percentage that how much the volume of left ventricle uh, uh, change with contraction. Straight is the same. It measure the percentage of changing in uh, depending of the type of the strain, longitudinal, the length of the segment, and finally wall, or rotation or circumferential. All it give you the how much percentage we have deformity, depending what kind of deformity you are going to measure it. In longitudinal, you are measuring the length. Since the definition of the strain means stretching, so we expect the strain when we calculate it, it gives us positive because it's stretched and become elongated. But in the heart, during systole, the length of the wall or segment decreases, but the percentage change is the same. So for longitudinal, we give them negative uh, value that is about minus 20, 18 at least, or usually minus 20 percent. So just uh, understand why they give, we give, we give minus uh, value. For radial, because it become uh, the same direction of definition of strain, it become positive because in radial, it become thicker. So it goes uh, with the same uh, concept of strain. So the value of radial strain will be positive. But the finally is the same. The percentage of the changing of the length or thickening or circumferential or rotation. All of them are the same and the measurement is the same, but with different technique. On Simpson, we measure volume. On the strain, for here, you take it as a just longitudinal, we measure length. How we can do these uh, changes we measure? We have in the longitudinal strain, we have three technique. One technique is MMOT. That is almost for the research, those they want to do some article and research. Nobody use the M mode strain type. If you are interested, go check my first clip and there are a lot of article about that. The second one is uh, tissue Doppler strain. In this tissue Doppler strain is function and work based on the, the same principle of the Doppler, tissue Doppler. 
means depending of the uh, checking the velocity and is uh, based uh, all those stuff wall filter they change it wall filter uh, they eliminate uh, low amplitude signal all those stuff and finally we get tissue doppler and at the end it's uh, calculate two spot uh, to each other not a specific spot two spot to each other and finally give everything straight so uh, and you can see is uh, has some advantage and some disadvantage the disadvantage is that it goes uh, follow the Doppler principle means is angle dependent uh, velocity optimizing image all those stuff that uh, goes to the Doppler tissue Doppler is the same for strain TDI Doppler and nowadays nobody use it uh, and most of them are they use in their research again for paper and nowadays that you have all working now with the ultrasound machine and they have strain they work with the speckle strain the speckle strain uh, in that technique the machine find the specific pattern on each segment maybe 10 i am not sure i didn't ask any software engineer 10 20 50 specific pattern of a speckle in each segment then follow up that one during cardiac activity the final result of that can show and analyze the software analyzed and show in most machine in three formats one of them is regional map one of them is strain curve that it included longitudinal global uh, segmental and uh, strain rate one of the another uh, the pattern or plot that they can show is strain bullies based on the segment we go and then another one is color mode strain that that analyze show based on the color mode and from now we are going to talk about each of them separately and explain what's going on in each of them and how to read them